Hey guys, today we're gonna write our conclusion. So we ended our third body paragraph yesterday. So I'm gonna pull up my quote chart, not my quote chart, my outline. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna restate my thesis. Throughout the book, Callum and other knots experience racism. Blackman shows this through the everyday experiences that knots have. So there's, I'm restating my topic sentence. And remember, I'm not rewriting it word for word. I'm restating it, which means that I'm using different words, but summarizing the same idea. So next, I have to recap each of my body paragraphs. So I'm gonna have one to two sentences for each body paragraph. Callum experiences racism every day when he goes about his life, such as being followed in stores and not have ac having access to a good education. So that summarizes body paragraph one. Knots get portrayed in society in a negative way. Anytime a knot does something bad, they report on the color of the skin, not just the crime. This does not happen when a cross does something bad. So there's a summary of body paragraph two. Finally, discrimination gets shown through reminders of skin color and unequal status. Society does not make products that would help knots, that would help make knots more equal, such as being pink colored band-aids. So there's our summary of body paragraph three. And then we have to have our clincher. And remember, clincher should go back and it should reference the attention grabber that we have in the very first paragraph in our intro. Even though some people in Callum society are not racist, knots experience so much discrimination that they need more than not being racist to help turn society around. They need to, people to be anti-racist to help combat their everyday experiences, their portrayal in the media, and their constant reminders of their unequal skin color. So that mentions the quote, if we go all the way back up on my outline, we started out with, in a racist society is not enough to be non-racist, we must be anti-racist. So it, goes back up and it mentions the quote that I used as my attention grabber and it ties in everything that I had talked about in my body paragraphs. So let's go through and make sure it makes sense. Throughout the book, Callum and other knots experience racism. Blackman shows this through the everyday experiences that knots have. Callum experiences racism every day when he goes about his life, such as being followed in stores and not having access to a good education. Knots get portrayed in society in a negative way. Anytime a knot does something bad, they report on the color of their skin, not just the crime. This does not happen when a cross does something bad. Finally, discrimination gets shown through reminders of skin color and unequal status. Society does not make products that would help make knots more equal, such as pink colored band-aids. Even though some people in Callum society are not racist, knots experience so much discrimination that they need more than being non-racist to help turn societies around. They need people to be anti-racist to help combat their everyday experiences, their portrayal in the media, and their constant reminders of their unequal skin color. So everything in here makes sense, so I am good. I will see you guys later. Have a good day.